Hi everyone, today we are going to do an abstraction using interface in Golang. So let's see how we can do an abstraction in interface. Main. So we have our package main, then now we can have a new, we'll define a new data type. Um, type. Let's have a triangle. Struct. What do we need? We are actually going to find the area of triangle and square. So it's a very basic example. So let's, uh, we know it has a base, height, and we'll call it as float. So instead of integer, we are using float. And then we'll define a new data type. Uh, let's type, let's call it square and struct. Now what all things we need? I think square has all sides same. So square length, float 32. And we can have one more. Let's call it type rectangle. Struct. What all things we need in rectangle? Length and width. Our purpose is to find the area. So now we are going to have a method. This one. It's for triangle first. What are we going to do here? Again, flow 32. So, what is the formula for area return? So, we'll have half into 0 0.5, ah, 0 0.5 half into base into. So, base would be T base and into height so here we have height base and height and now we will call the method for square s square area flow 32 return and what's the formula for that s into length length into length we know that formula is s square so length into length and now we have one more so that is rectangle We want the area. The return uh, in two. What is the formula for for a uh, rectangle? Is length into width. Length into width. So now we have that. Now we are going to define an interface. So we are defining an interface as to achieve abstraction. So area and float 30. Now in the main function. We'll have our t equals to what? So we are declaring and assigning values to the variables. So T triangle, what it has a base. So I'm giving base as 22 and height as any, any value 20. Now what I have as, as square, giving the length and 
the length as 25 or whatever you want. Now we have R. R is a rectangle and it has length we can give 20 and it has width and give 30 or whatever you want. Now we have this now we have to uh, define a variable so defining a variable of type interface okay so what are we going to do a area now that a equals to t so when the a equals to t that time we would print area of the triangle comma a comma area the same way we'll have we can copy this now let's not copy a equals to s and let's type fmt dot print ln what we want area of square comma a dot area a equals to last one is r if a equals to r same thing fmt dot print ln area of area of rectangle a dot area So now we if we see this imported FMT okay. now go run main dot go. So what it did now? So this is a very good example how we can use you know uh, yeah. we can use abstraction we can use you know abstraction using uh, interface in Golang and if you have any doubts or any questions any suggestions for me please do let me know and uh, you can put that in the comment and i think this class was helpful or this session was helpful thank, thank you so much